Hey, what's up, sexy someone? I today we're here doing a ranked one v one, and I am uh, playing tryhard Thursday because it's Thursday and I'm tryharding. You know, it's what it is. Every Thursday, it's always the same. Don't ever <clears throat> expect different. Although I'm starting off the game or the video, I should say, with Baron. I'm fighting the angry giraffe. Oh no, dude! Giraffe should never be angry. They're so sweet. Back. Okay, so naturally, first things first, we need Big Hat. There we go. We now have Big Hat, which means everything else in this game will go extremely smooth. Because nothing ever goes bad when you have a Big Hat on. And that is facts. Don't, don't come crying to me when something bad happens. If you didn't have a big hat on while it was happening. And I'm talking this kind of proportional hat to body ratio. If your hat's not at least half the size of your body, it's not a big hat. It's a mediocre sized hat at best. Also, hold on. I forgot to pause my streams that I was watching because I always watch multiple streams at one time because I'm a fucking D-Gen. Hello. Uh, uh. You don't scare me. You don't scare me or my hat. Amazing clear. Ao Kuang doesn't have any. So I'm having a good time right now. Are you going to come for this red ball? He was stealth. He could maybe go for a steal. My arm is so itchy. Oh god, my button pressing arm. It's so itchy. Bro, my arm is... That's not fair. I was itchy. Man. Do you think you're going to kill me? No, man, I have an ass. You think you got me, pal? Zero percent. Boop. Big heels. Yeah, get the heck out of here. Nope. I suck. Garbage. Garbage and poop. I'm garbage and shit and poop and garbage. Hold on. No, I really thought that I had enough damage, man. What the heck? What happened to all my damage? I ulted him for 225. My two hit him for 156. My one hit him for 264. That, that's enough damage. Darn it, man. Oh, now I got a little hat again. I've never been this disappointed in my life. There's been so many things that have happened in my life, you know? Losing a lung. That's pretty much it. And I, I'm more disappointed that I have tiny hat than I than I was when I found out that I needed a lung removed, honestly. One for it. Hello. You scared me. Hello. Again. Hee <laughs> hee. Got him. Thought he had me. He thought he had me. Nope. Not today, demon. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? I guess I have to let you back, huh? I was going to try not to, but... Unfortunately, I couldn't stop that one. But I will hit you with the hoop and the doop and the ski poop. Once my cooldowns come up, can I kill? No shot, right? You're not actually backing right now. You don't think I would fall for that, do you? I'll be back. <laughs> 
shit, dude. What the heck? How dare you make me look stupid? How dare you? Out of everything you could have done, and you chose to make me look dumb in front of my people. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. I needed to wait a little bit to, uh, to, like, get the stun while he was just a little bit lower HP so that he wouldn't be able to run back out of tower range, but that's all right. Okay. Okay. Um, I am going to wait for tier two breastplate. Obviously, I'm going 60% cooldown, by the way. I shouldn't even have to say that as long as Bobble is in the game. I'm going to abuse it to the best of my power. That's just how it's going to work for every video. So just as long as we're clear, maybe not on every God, right? Like I'm not going to go 60% on her. I'll probably just go on her. Unless, <laughs> hold on, wait a second. I just had a crazy idea. What if I win 60% on it? This way, we don't lose our party goers. Our party goers? Kind of sounds like you said potty goers. Ain't nobody trying to go to your potty, Baron. I need a big hat again. This is... It's disrupting, honestly. Oh, jeez. Why are you so angry at me? All I did was kill you one time. Like, it wasn't even multiple... And you killed me once already, too. You Like, you can't be mad. It's fair game. Ah, oh, dicks. Got it. Am I sh scared of you? Should I be? Um, I don't think I need to be scared of you. You don't scare me, you little baby boy. Get back here. Oh shit. I'm scared? Oh shit, I'm actually scared. Wait. Ooh. Oh god, he had enough mana for the three, dude. Oh my god, I'm building breastplate against a mage. Did you hear me? I don't want to talk about it. I just another coat made of the finest milk. Breastplate. Against a mage. On try hard Thursday? Have I lost my goddamn mind? Respectfully, of course. Like, this is just ridiculous. Good thinking. Are you gonna get that, or can I? I kind of feel like I want this. Oh. Okay, that's fair, I guess. How? Why do no damage? Oh. He's got all the lifesteal he could ever need. All right, we back here. You're going to want to stop my back. I'm not going to let you. You're going to TP away from this. You're not TPing away. You did TP away. I hit that. Big heal. Now I ult you. Okay. I missed my ult. Naturally, of course. I don't think I try to fight you here. I think I'm a little scared of you. I want to go Divine first. Also, Aegis wouldn't be bad. Aegis in the, the uh, Execute. But I would still probably die when I landed. But I don't know. I mean, the higher HP I have when I Aegis, the more chance I have of living, technically. I mean, not that's not how it always works, but when we're talking about an execute range, I don't think I'm that scared of you right now because I have Genjis. But last time I said I wasn't scared of you, you killed me. So <laughs> maybe I should be a little bit more cautious.
about how I play this out. I'm going divine next item, by the way. Do you hit level 14 off that wave? You do. Okay. So I'm actually a little bit behind in terms of XP. Not like crazy behind, but a little bit. Enough to be concerned, probably. I missed. I would have hit that one. Oh, I missed that one. Dude, how did I miss that? Hmm. I don't think there's anything on the map right now. There's Bull Demon. There's no way he wants Bull Demon right now, right? That'd be weird. This way, we don't lose our party going. I'm 200 gold away from Divine. Hello. Bro, is his teleport as far range as my alt? Because when you're playing him, it doesn't feel like that. The reason I wanted to stop his back there is because of red buff spawning right now. I want to try to get my lead back for uh, XP, and the only way to do that is to basically annoy the shit out of him until he gives me what I want. And in this case, what I want is, uh, well, red buff. I don't want to pick it up. I just want the XP. I think I am a little bit ahead now in XP after that, uh, that red buff bonanza that just went down. Can I win a fight? I don't know yet. Probably not, but maybe there's always the option. Nice. Nice. I beads the execute. I wasn't like gonna die from the execute, but I figured if I beads the execute, I might be able to grab the kill there. And thankfully, I beads the execute and got the kill. Feeling great. My minions might be able to take tower. I don't know. Please? You got me, bros? Step bro, I'm stuck. Let's go! They're homies. Okay. Alright. So they got tower. Also, I don't know if it matters, but I did have three jello shots at a party just before this. It's not like an actual like adult party. It was a three-year-old's birthday party, but the adults did have jello shots. So, you know, <laughs> take that how you will, I guess. <laughs> Are you going to steal this? That's probably why I bought Breastplate, honestly. He's going Boombas. Am I scared of a Boombas? A Boombas out Kwong? Mm, maybe. Boombas is still pretty good. You're going to ult me. You did not ult me. Oh, you're just going to surrender. I didn't even get my bobble online. I didn't even get to go super abusive uh, Baron Samity yet. I was just like normal Baron Samity. Well, all right. There's game one, I guess, boys. See you in game two. Hey, what's up, boys? Welcome back. Game number two. Uh, who are we playing today? My guess is someone that got buffed in the patch. I want to play someone that got buffed. Um, I was going to play Bakasura, but clearly he's banned. Arachne is good. Okay, hear me out. But also, it's double worshippers right now. And I do kind of need the double worshippers. <laughs> I don't think any of these gods got buffed. Got non-conquest buffed, though, did they? I'm trying to think. I don't think they did. So if they didn't get non-conquest buffed, I'll save the worshiper farming for not try hard Thursday.
because I think last week I played, I played Heimdall. And I lost in my first game and it was embarrassing. And I was mad the press because of it. I want to play Arachne, dude, because I want to try out the, the buffs. But also, let's play Kamazots. Kamazots got non conquest buff too, right? Hold on. Uh, smite patch notes. Uh, news. Mid season update. Oh, that was a hot fix. Update. Where are the non conquest buffs? Hold on. I'm still scrolling. Give me a second. This is so far down, dude. Um, Camazots, 10% alt cooldown and 10%. Okay. So he just, Camazots just straight up has 10% cooldown built into him now. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. That's pretty sick. Um, now I could go 60% cooldown on top of that and have 70% cooldown on my shit, which seems insane, which I think I'm going to do. I also want a Boomba's hand. I also, I want to go Transcendence and I also want to go Soul Eater. I'm just going to do everything, dude. I'm going to do it all. Fighting Jackson off. Is he streaming right now? Uh, I can't find my category on Twitch. Whatever. Ow. That's rude as hell, dude. Was rude as hell, dude. I missed. Mm. Oh, man. Am I scared of him right now? I feel like maybe I should be. Or maybe he needs to be scared of me, actually. Yeah, he definitely needs to be more scared of me than I am of him. For sure. Unless I tank the whole freaking wave. I don't know, actually. Even still, like... I'm leveling my one... By the way, because I plan on uh, basically needing it. I'm wondering, can I even get this? Hello. Oh my god, he actually got it. That is infuriating. I'm going to go pick it up. He's going to level 5 now. Actually, I will also level 5. I don't know if he has enough mana. Yeah, he doesn't have enough mana. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. We'll do the good old... You get red buff, I'll get both blues. Trade. Not a bad trade for me, honestly. I mean, assuming I actually get both blues, that is. But the odds are not looking too great. You'll thank me for this later. Aw, oh, man. What is this? Oh, my God. He took three tower shots and was fine. Okay. All right. Three Phoenix shots at level five, by the way. He only hit level six off killing me. I can't believe that. That's kind of ridiculous, honestly. But whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I really thought I could kill him there, honestly. I am uber far behind now. Like, just crazy far. My one gives me 40 power, right? 25. Got nerfed quite a bit, huh? Hmm. 
Yeah, he wants to get his trans. Obviously, if I can stop that, I will. He won't let me stop it. Damn, he's going to get an extra wave worth of stacks on me here. It's not good for me. Why are you faster than me, though? He also definitely gets that red buff, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's spawning right now. Hmm. I definitely got to catch up here. Definitely pretty far behind. Jesus. Do so much damage. Watch for the sun's rise and dawn. All right. I'm definitely not feeling very strong right now. It also, one thing that kind of sucks too, is that we're going the same builds. Because they, I mean, we pretty much do go the same build. Set and Kamazots are pretty similar in that fashion. But, um, because of that, I do not feel like I will get a power spike over him. I wonder if he's doing Bull Demon right now. It honestly wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Seth does Bull Demon really fast. He's actually not, but he is two levels ahead of me. Okay. Hello. Hmm. I don't actually feel bad about that fight. that fight was pretty good i will say i don't like the fact that uh he probably has finished breastplate now because he's 300 gold more than me not so much i needed for breastplate oh he doesn't oh now he does oh that didn't hit i'm lucky now i have to fight down 20 percent cooldown which is just horrible like you never want to have to do that Hello. I just wanted my passive off of that, by the way. Why did his three last so long just now? Huh? That's weird. I feel like his three should not have lasted that long. Maybe it was a bug of some sort. Second Relic, I'm kind of thinking Thorns, but also uh, getting anti-heal online on a, against a set is really nice. We'll see. Okay. You have no three up.
I missed. Nice. Nice. He went full greed mode there, dude. He went full greed. That's what I needed. Oh, how is that not up? Low greedy, maybe. A little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Um, I think I go beat stick. Like, yeah, I mean, this is what I was talking about. We're going to go the same build, basically, which sucks for me. But also, it's kind of expected. I could go Sphinx's Bobble. Oh, he went horrific. I don't know what I want second item or second relic, I mean. Second relic is so important for me here. You can count on me beating our enemy. Mm. Wonder if I do just want an onk. perfect fight for me. Oh, I missed my fucking two. Alright, still really greedy to go for that red. Still very greedy for that red buff. Now, is your blue actually up this time? Let's go, it is. Thank you. And now I have a wave. This tower falls. I can give him one more wave. He is going to get bull demon here. But, I mean, for both blue buffs, a kill and a tower, losing the bull demon is something I'm willing to do. Also, my ultimate is super OP in this matchup. Like, Kamazots should not lose this matchup, just so everyone's clear. Um... I just ult when he ults and he loses the fight. Also, I could potentially win a second fight, by the way. Yeah, he definitely never gets away from me. I don't know. I just feel like this matchup is pretty impossible for the for the set. Like early game, it was pretty tough. Don't get me wrong. Like I had to I had to play well to even keep up because this clear is that much better than mine. But I don't know. I think now I'm just chilling. Also, I'm gonna hop into 60% cooldown right now, and I'll grab my second relic, which I'm just gonna go super simple as a thorns. And I know this lowers my cooldown or my my healing for my two and my three and my damage output. But I don't know. I just want to see how it is. If I start losing because of it, which is a very big possibility, um, then I will switch it. But I just want to see how it is, honestly. Uh, 
I have no idea where he went. Always oh, proxying. All right. Good old proxy farm. You still proxying or are you doing bull demon? Thank you. I really didn't care if I got the buff, by the way. Like I've been saying, I just want my passive. If my passive drops, I'm in a world of trouble. And you don't actually need to get the last hit to get the passive. I got my Boomba's Hammer online now. Which is going to bring me to 60% cooldown. Um, so yeah, 10%, 10%, 20%, that's 40, and then this is 50, and then blue buff is 60. But I don't have blue buff on, I have red buff, huh? Okay, so maybe I'm not actually there yet. Alright. Big kill, big kill. I'm just gonna go get my... My bull demon. I think the problem is he has to win a fight without ulting, and he just straight up cannot do that. Especially not while I have 60% cooldown. And Boombas. Jesus. I don't know if this build is that OP. I don't feel like the build's that OP, but... I do feel like because of the matchup, I can kind of do whatever I want and still win. Like build wise, obviously if I just suicide in his fountain 12 times, it's not going to work, but you never know. Dude, <laughs> this is insane. Like what's, what's his game plan? How does he win? Hmm. I don't know. I just missed all my abilities and I can still maybe do okay in a fight. Yeah, holy shit. Look at that healing. Ouch. Look at that healing. Hello. Okay, I fucked that one up. I used my one on the tower. Also, I have 2,700 gold. Uh, but I used my one on the uh, the Titan instead of him. So I didn't have the power buff. I should have waited for the power buff. That was my bad. What item do I want? I don't have 60% yet. I only have 50%. I'm kind of thinking serrated, though. It gives me so much power. And I'm going to be spamming abilities anyways. Like, I know I don't have 60% cooldown yet. But I'm close. I'm 50%. And I could always just pick up this blue buff. Right here. Because he definitely got the red buff. Yeah. Alright. 60% cooldown. My jump is a 5.4 second. My ult is 36 seconds. My three is only three second cooldown. That's crazy. I'm ready to see your build. Probably finished mannequins and finished uh, whatever the other item is. Berserker shield.
Oh my. Not even landing my autos, bro. Oh, fuck the Phoenix. Ouch. I did not notice the Phoenix come up. I guess right now, I have blue buff on. I do, but it won't be for long. I'll upgrade this stuff right now. Oh, he's going massive anti-heal. Sold mannequins for it, actually. I really feel like Sphinx's bobble is not making this easier for me. I think it's making it more difficult. If I If I need to, I'll sell it. For right now, I still think I'm okay. Maybe. Back away. My red buff. I guess I am going to try this here. This bull demon. Wait, how the fuck did you get that up again? That's some sort of a weird bug. Is that a weird bug that he got his, his three back up again? I know you can do some weird shit with it. Because it's a little bit... It's a little bit bugged in the sense where, like, if you activate it at the perfect time or teleport while right while it's deactivating, it doesn't have a cooldown. I hope that's not what he's doing. It very well could be. GG. GG. I will say in that matchup, in that matchup, I didn't feel Sphinx's bubble really doing me any favors. I felt like because I had so much healing in my kit, having 20% less damage and 20% less healing was a really big negative for me. As far as like, if I only had the damage negation or only the healing negation, then it would be okay. But since I had both, it kind of sucked. But at least I built it and we learned. I'll see you guys in game three. Hey, what's up, boys? Welcome back. Game three. I'm going to play Bakasura because he, because he got his 10% Buffarooski. And I really want to play him. I'm going to play the Hollow Knight skin. I know it's technically called the Shadow Eater, but we all know it's Hollow Knight. I'm fighting Necronix, who has like 30 stars on Scylla. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't love that. I don't love it, but you know what? <laughs> Sometimes you just got to suck it up. You got to play anyways. Today is one of those days. 
Or we suck it up when we play anyways. I think I go beads. Because if he can't root me, he's going to take some big damage. Dude, I got I to gotta hit up J2B. I got to hit up my friend and be like, hey, man. For, for reference, J2B is a Scylla main. And I think this guy might have more stars on Scylla than him. No. No, this is a different Scylla main. And he has more stars than J2B. I don't know who this person is. But he seems Pog. You're not even going to go for it. That's probably for the best, honestly. I mean, you know. You know you're not going to get the buff against a Bakasura, so. Why even go for it? Hello? I'm annoying. Jesus, my damage is nuts. No siree. I'm okay with letting you hit me a little bit. I don't mind. All right, now I get your blue buff. And you are definitely not happy, which makes me happy. You have shell. I mean, you don't have alt though. I do. He is very scared of me. For a very good reason. I feel like they must have added the mana back on eating minions. Like, relatively recently. Because I used to feel like I would run... Like, if I ate a minion, I would go oom. Now, if you eat a minion, you actually gain more mana than it costs. Which is ridiculous. But I guess, you know, in terms of game design, it is supposed to be your, I guess, sustainability tool. But do you really need a mana sustain tool on an auto attack assassin? I feel like it's arguable. But, well, actually... Maybe you do, and only because his alt is 80 mana, his 3 is 75 mana, it goes up to 80 once I level one more time, so... Maybe for just that aspect. Bro, I do a lot of them. I'm probably just gonna go for the 4 minute bull demon this game. I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be a while. Yeah, 80, 80 mana on my 3, that's kind of a lot. Perfect. The auto attack cancel using my alt. That just so happened to also uh, cripple him and his teleport. He's probably not feeling too hot right now if I had to guess. I don't think I'm in danger of dying. He doesn't even have Bancrofts. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Even if he even if he roots me and does a full like two alt combo. Uh you're gonna run. I think I will just go do a four minute bull demon, honestly. Is it great? No. Am I probably going to die? Absolutely. Am I doing it anyways? Uh huh. All right, there we go. Hello. <laughs> oh you poor soul dude i'm so sorry 
I am so sorry that you have to go through this. Oh, jeez. Oh, hello. You spawned back quick, bro. All right, tower down, three levels ahead, 1.5k. You really couldn't ask for a better Baka game than this. Also, the damage to gods. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not damage to gods. The damage dealt to gods. No, I'm stupid. The damage taken from gods is reduced by 10%. So I have like already 10% damage mitt as Baka just running around, which in case you're wondering what that equates to, it's basically if you bought an Oni Hunter's Guard and had four people walking around you the whole time. That, that, I mean, that's basically, that's basically how good it is. It's pretty OP. I just got full blown Scylla comboed when he when she has a Bancrofts. Okay. There's the alt and the shell. And now I think I'm just waiting on Bull Demon, really. I don't really need to wait on Bull Demon. I guess I could probably just like be aggro and get it, but It's safer to not throw the game if I just wait for the bull demon play here. I could also go crit chance next item, like maybe just a wind demon. Just to burst even a bit harder. But I almost four hit him. I actually just almost four hit him. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go Deathbringer. Screw it. You going divine? Is that gonna be a divine? Okay, hats off to you. You do shit on my wave now. Bull demon is up. I'm gonna go get it. Can he alt me and and steal it? A hundred percent. Will he? More than likely, yes. Okay, actually... He's so scared that he went to go clear the wave. And he pre-placed his three so he could teleport back. I've done- I've been there before on Scylla. I have. Alright. Not too kind to you. Why did he cancel his alt there? His best chance was to just ride the alt all the way to feet or the fountain. I mean, chances are he doesn't make it there because I do have hastened second item. So, you know, he's probably going to die there. But I mean, your best shot was to just go. I don't know. I'll see you guys in game number four, though. Hey, what's up, boys? More than likely the last game of this episode. And I'm hitting you with a Bastet. I haven't played a Bastet game in the past. I don't know, maybe like three or four weeks of Try Hard Thursday. So it's going to be pretty dope, dude. It's going to be a good one, hopefully, to round out this video. Um, Okay, against a Hades. I'm thinking Tainted Steel. Bluestone's obviously good for the early game. Tainted Steel is obviously better for the late. I think I will go Tainted because I... I'm pretty sure 
that I'm more iffy about my late game potential than I am my early game. I already know that he's going to outclear me. Okay? I'm not dumb. I've played this character before. And I've played Hades before. And I know Hades is better clear. So, I need to focus more on winning the fights. I think early game, I sacrifice whatever I have to. I sacrifice the wave clear, maybe the buff, because he probably has Boombas. And, um... And late game, I just go all out Nutso McGee for the fighting potential with my Tainted Steel and my 40% uh, cooldown and, you know. Okay, I'm kind of getting dicked on. I thought my 1-2 two, my one -two combo would clear and it definitely did not, which I'm not in love with. All right. All right. Do your buff. Do your buff. It's fine. I knew I was going to have to sacrifice. I wish it wasn't as much as I am actually going to have to, but... I sadly overestimated how much damage Tainted Steel would give me at 15 power. I thought it would be enough. And I was wrong. <laughs> I was very, very wrong. Alright, well. Now that I'm backing, finally. I have a Chalice and I have a Tier 2 Trans. Tier 2 Trans gives you uh, about 13 more power. Mainly, mostly uh, mana. But 13 more power should be enough. For my 1-2 combo to actually clear wave. We will test it right here. It won't clear the melees, but it will clear the backline, which is perfect. Now that I got my third point in my two, I think we are hard chilling with the wave clear. Hard chilling. Obviously not as good as Hades, but we made it through the first few levels without getting too far behind. Like, we didn't get killed and we didn't get 3-0'd on buffs. Oh, you... This doesn't scare me. I wonder if I can kill him here. Actually. When he goes for the wave. Oh. Damn, that cooldown, though. The blue stone. Damn. Not blue stone. Blue buff, I meant. That blue buff. Do be good. God damn, dude. Close. I'm still 100 gold away from being able to afford Transcendence. I'm probably just going to do Bastet shit and proxy this wave. Yeah, we're just going to proxy this wave and grab this. He is going to be doing the red buff right now. Or if not right now, it will be soon. I'm pretty sure he can one-hit it now with Book of Thought and, and Tier 1 Boombas. I'm pretty sure he one-hits it. I'm not certain, but I want to say it's got to be close. I want to just make sure that I'm autoing him so I have Tainted Seal on him. Yeah, because he is not actually nearly as heal forward as he thinks he is at the moment. You are dead. 
Perfect. I don't know. He doesn't have Bancrofts and with Tainted Seal, you're not actually healing as much as you think you are. Like, 15% anti-heal is not good, right? Like, don't twist my words. I'm not saying 15% is good, but it's okay in the early game specifically. All right. Got my blue buff. I'm assuming he got his blue buff because he came from that direction. He has no alt, which means he has no kill potential, which means I am not scared. Get him with that. Get the boys all grouped up for me. Thank you. Can you win this fight? I do not believe so. I do not believe you win that fight. Now, this upcoming fight, if you get me in my wave, you 100% win. I did get the... Uh... Hmm. You're not going to dive, right? Stop my back for what? Oh, I'm garbage. That's unfortunate. Hmm. He's got too much mana. And I need a Genji's. You have too much mana, and I need more cooldown. You're lucky this time. Also, I really want to go Soul Eater. I, I'm sure he's going to go Divine, because I already have Life Steal in my passive. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe he won't. Oh, your one only hit me for 93. I was definitely expecting more. I'm surprised he's giving me these. Like, for someone who clears so instantaneously, he's kind of just giving me free shit. Like, he does not need to be giving me the XP camps. He does not need to be giving me buffs. He, he honestly doesn't even need to be giving me, like, the wave. Like, he could be more aggressive on the wave. But, I mean, I'm down. <laughs> I just realized I don't even have the cooldown from Transcendence yet. Now I do. Now that I just finished stacking it. I always forget that you don't get Transcendence cooldown until it's finished stacking completely. Oh, how much HP did I have, man? I would love your blue up. Oh, it is up. Okay. Never mind. I don't care. For the donation. Never mind. I don't care. You can take your, uh, take your wave. I was going to say, I would love to apply tainted seal and try to maybe do something there. But if I did that and I tried to fight, he might be able to clear wave. And because of how long my cooldowns are right now, he might be able to clear wave and get his blue buff. And I'm not willing to sacrifice XP and gold for a what if on a chance that he fucks up a fight. You, sir, are taking lots of damage. How much is Beat Stick? 23.50? It's actually less than I thought it was. I'm going to get the XP camp and go, go grab it right now. Oh, 
Don't stop it. Second relic. Now here is a choice. Because I can go Thorns. And I can go Ankh. But I don't need Ankh, I don't think. Because I have Tainted Steel and I have Beat Stick. So more anti-heal is kind of unnecessary. Could be wrong about it, but that's how I feel. Um... Hmm. A blink, honestly, is not bad. Being able to blink in and maybe force an alt and then jump out without wasting a beads. That could be pretty good. I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of just leaning forward to uh, le leaning towards a thorns. Oh, I missed my one. That was on fort. I think if I hit my one, I kill there. Oh, did, I, did I actually hit him? I don't actually think that hit him. I think he just stopped his back because it scared him. Road buff up very, very shortly. <clears throat> I think I might be able to get this because he just used his combo on the... Uh, Yeah, on the wave. Sorry, I couldn't think and practice my timing on the one in my head. It needs to be separate. <laughs> All right. Your blue buff spawns right and now. Okay. Very massive kill, baby. VMK. Very massive kill. Wait. I played VMK as a kid. Please tell me that other people remember VMK. It's called... It, I think it was Virtual Magic Kingdom. And it was like Disneyland. Like it was a Disney-made game. And... uh. Hold on, I, I gotta think about what to buy. Actually, no, I don't. I'll just go Crusher and not think. Then Thorns. Um, and it was basically like you you were a little icon, little character. Basically, you looked like a me. I and you would go around and like do mini games and stuff, kind of like Neopets, but instead of being like, you know, a little dragon thing, you would be like a me character, and you could. You had an inventory and you had a room that you could decorate and things were worth like a lot of real world value. And like there was things like dance moves that you could get that were worth like thousands of dollars and like a stitch hat, like a Lilo and stitch hat and like a Pirates of the Caribbean thing. And dude, I had it all. I had it all. It was so dope. My account was worth like $30,000 and then it, it all just like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what happened to the game. I did get banned because I got all that, that $30,000 from like, uh, like trading in the game and scamming people basically, but I was an eight. So, you know, it happens, <laughs> but I don't know what happened to the game. I never heard of it again, but it was fucking dope. It was so long ago that it was back when we had, like, a family computer. Like, nobody had personal computers. We just had a family computer in one room. It was dope. I fuck with that game. There was one game specifically that was kind of like Pokemon Snap. Where you would go through a jungle. And you'd have to take pictures of all the animals. And you'd be on a little boat ride. I played the fuck out of that game for some... For some virtual currency, some V some VMK points. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of not paying attention anymore. I'm just I'm just W keying. Don't even think about clearing my wave. Actually you can. Actually, I thought about it for half of a millisecond, and you can. Hmm. 
What should my next item be? Upgrade my Tainted, probably. That's what a real player would do. Hmm. I don't actually know what I want to buy. I mean, I know what I want to buy, but I don't know what I should buy. I want to buy a Deathbringer. <laughs> I never got to finish it in my uh, in my other game that I played. Because he surrendered too quick in my Bakasura game. So now I want to build it on Bastet. But I mean, we all know Deathbringer Bastet's not the play. Which is kind of why I want to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care. Fuck your rules. First I get Bull Demon, then I get Deathbringer. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Let's go in Venomed. My attack speed is 1.5. I guess I have Crusher. I feel like I have glitter on my nose from that three-year-old birthday party I was talking about earlier. I just autoed for 800. Bet you never seen a Bastet do that. What the... Where even is he? Oh, he's proxying the wave. Okay. That's fine. Help me out, cat. Hit those 27s, baby. You do not scare me. You do not scare me. You do not scare me. Oh, okay. Oh! Dude, do I go for the outplay here? Oh! Good fear! It was a good fear. It was a good fear. I jumped. I tried to jump, but I didn't jump fast enough. Okay. I went for the outplay, and it was bad. Tainted Amulet. We now have 75% anti-heal, because this is 30, and this is 45. It's 40. We have 70%. It's fine. Dude, I do have glitter. I can see it right here. I got it! I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. I, I, I don't think you guys can see it. But I got it, dude. Just trust me. Trust me. Let's go. I'm glitter free, baby. Now it's, a, now it's on my mouse. God damn it. All right, let's just win the game. Clearly, I'm losing my mind. This video needs to end. Oops. Deathbringer Bastet to the rescue. Pow. Pow. Ooh. Pow. Whoa, man. Whoa, guy. Oh, he has Boombas now. But I actually am getting shit on. Hold on. I'm dead. Oh, shit. Okay. Actually, hold on. I might lose. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta actually try here. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um, this actually might not be horrible. We only have 20% cooldown. I could actually go lifesteal item here to pump me up to 40% cooldown and then upgrade beads for lower cooldown on that. I think this is fine. I think this is a fine build. Because he did just kind of dumpy on me. Which, I'll be honest, wasn't wasn't that cool. No, thank you. 
Maybe heal on the wave, even though I have 70% anti you. What? Alright, there we go. There we go. I just had to use my brain for one of the fights. And not have Deathbringer also. That's... That helped. <laughs> there we go. Now, the question is, can I end off of that? I'm pretty sure I cannot end off of that. I do a lot of damage, but I don't think it's enough. Oh my god, it actually is enough. That's insane. I do a whole lot of damage. All right, well, yeah, that's uh, the Try Hard Thursday. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Me!